Hi everyone, my name is Anta from Lazy Mo Maps, and I'm going to take through part two of our What's New video series. I'll be talking about secondary tiles and secondary tile pinning, and I'll also be explaining what is MetroTube. Now, secondary tiles is one of my favorite manga features, hands down. It's uh, very unique to Windows Phone, and uh, I think it's just a really, really cool feature. And so we've given you the ability to pin a range of, of things to your start screen. The first being a video. So for example, if you if you like a video that you want to watch again and again, or maybe just a video that you see and you want to watch it later, all you got to do is a long press, and you'll get the pin option. So you just pin it, and that'll push it right to your start screen. Nice and simple thumbnail title at the bottom, and uh, yeah, it's there uh, to remind you to watch it again, or it's available to be shared. So if we get back into the app, another section that you can pin is the categories. So for example, if I want to pin my subscriptions, uh, I just need to do the same thing there. A long press and pin, and my subscriptions are available straight from my start screen. So when I click it, rather than being presented with the sort of dashboard or the, the, the start screen, I go straight in and I can get to business. Now, one of my favorite uh, tiles to pin, or probably the most powerful tile to pin, is the, the author. And what you can do, for example, is find an author that you want to pay close attention to. Um, because sometimes, as you can see here, there's so many, so many authors in your subscriptions, and sometimes you can uh, get lost in you know, some subscriptions. They update more often than others. And... Um, you might miss certain certain videos that you've been looking out for. So if there is an author that you want to closely follow, you can pin them to the start screen. So for Nokia, for example, if I find a video and go to the author section, I can pin from here and pin that right to my start screen. So I'm not quite sure if it's uh, visible, but on the top left, there is the author icon and what this tile does is every time that the author updates a video the latest thumbnail gets pushed to the front screen so you'll find that the logo will stay the same obviously but the background will update uh, in real time so just subtly reminding you that there's uh, an update there now the last thing that you can pin which I'd like to show you is playlists Actually, just before I show playlists, I'll also mention that you can pin whatever uh, author that you like. You don't have to particularly subscribe to that author to pin them to the start screen. So if I wanted to pin a Windows Phone, I just search for the author, and... I can maybe Windows Phone UK for example and I can pin them directly to the screen and I'm not in fact subscribed to to them so and and they also make full advantage of the the updates so that'll that tile will also get real-time updates for that author regardless if you're subscribed to it or not so if we go back to the playlists uh, pinning let me search for a playlist, maybe Top Gear. And I find a playlist that I like. And maybe it's a series that I want to watch, or uh, one of my favorite playlists that I want to watch again and again, as before. I can pin that. And it's available as expected. So that's pretty much it with regards to, to pinning. Um, I'd quickly go over what is MetroTube. So MetroTube is essentially LazyTube 3.0. It's uh, a decision that we've made to, to rebrand the app and give it a, a little bit of a facelift with regards to the look. And uh, obviously the name has changed. This is purely a visual uh, or aesthetic change. So everyone who's purchased LazyTube will get MetroTube absolutely free. Essentially, it is the same code base, and essentially, it's the the same app on the marketplace. All it is is that we've changed the name. So, anyone that was worried, nope, you get it for free uh, if you've already paid. Uh, one thing worth mentioning is we've also created a new website, MetroTubeApp.com. 
Uh, we have a new Twitter page and a new Facebook page. And so we'll have more sort of specific updates for, for the app from now on. And so, yeah, I encourage you to, to have a look at it and um, hit us up and tell us what you think. And stay tuned. So we're still very much on track for a release this month. So hopefully you'll be seeing it very, very, very soon. Uh, thank you very much. And we hope you guys stay posted.